Pakuman allows you to get high-quality images using different models including Flux Schnell, Pony Diffusion, etc. This generator doesn't have as much features as Leonardo AI for example, but Pakuman is completely free. Let's get started. After opening Pakuman.ai you have to sign up. Here is Explore section where you can see images created by other users. You can enable Dark Mode. By clicking on image you can see the prompt and other settings and copy them to reuse in your creations. Click here to start creating. Here are images I generated earlier. You can select model. Each of them has its pros and cons. Wide range of different aspect ratios. A number of images you want to get at once. Here is prompt area where you have to enter description of images you want to get. Here are additional options, auto translate and prompt enhance. It makes extended version of your prompt, add some details and makes different parts of your prompt more connected with each other. Here you can enter negative prompt to exclude unnecessary objects from images. Guidance scale controls the correspondence between your prompt and final result. The higher value the more details, sharpness and contrast. The more steps the higher overall image quality. Random seed allows you to create different images each time and fixed makes images similar to another image. It can be seed of previously generated image or you can copy seed value from any other image in explore section for example. Here are my images. The Klumen Realistic is not bad model but faces aren't perfect all the time as you can see. By clicking on image you can see its generation settings and different editing options. Or you can click on these three dots. By clicking on remix you'll copy its prompt and other generation settings. I don't recommend to use very option because it creates strange images in lots of cases. Upscale. You can decide how many times upscaled image will be larger than original one. The higher redraw strength value the smoother image will be. Here is my upscaled image. Background removement works really good in this case. Next feature is in paint. It's good for fine tuning small details, not for drawing new objects on the image. For example, I want to add flying blackbird, but instead it makes leaves darker in the selected area. It also doesn't work very well if I want to redraw face and make it smile. Result looks creepy. I'll delete it and expand option. You can generate additional part of the image. Drag this frame. In this blank space will be generated new part of the image. Prompt is optional. This feature provides almost perfect results in my opinion. This time I'll use another more detailed prompt, and I'm going to show you how you can play with guidance scale and steps values to get different effects. This time guidance scale is higher than steps value. Look on the sliders, not on the digits. Images are more two dimensional in this case because of high guidance scale and lack of steps. But Pikluman realistic model, which I used for all these images, isn't the easiest way to get realistic images or perfect human faces. Here you can see standard stable diffusion anime model. Line art. I'll create few images and show you how to use colorize option. I won't use any prompts. Here is original and colorized version. Pony diffusion. This button allows you to open model presets which are available in this model only. I'll select source cartoon first. Here is how it looks. I'll try to use source pony. Okay result is almost the same probably because I didn't change the prompt. And finally, Flux Schnell, the best model for creating almost perfect realistic images including faces, text, etc. I have short but detailed video about Flux. Here are images created with Flux. Faces here are much better than on previous images. And the same settings but vertical images, even better. Look at the faces and hands. By clicking on this button, you can upload your own image and then edit it with AI tools. You can download it or delete it. Here is image reference option. It is unavailable when Flux is selected. I'll select Paclume Realistic and upload my image. Here is it. Click on the uploaded image thumbnail. You'll see three options, content, style, and character reference. Content reference adds object silhouettes from original picture to the generated images. It can be useful if you want to use exactly the same composition in different images. When the prompt and original image don't match, it just adds such surreal effect to the image. Style reference. You can see that generated image has colors which are a little bit similar to original one. I increased strength value so you'll see how the generated images will change. Colors are even closer to the reference image this time. Character reference is for creating some sort of character consistency. So reference image must have face to use this option. So I'll delete this image and upload new one. Here is how it looks. Character ref and strength to 0.6. I can't say that this is exactly the same character as on the original image but it's pretty close. And the reference image is pretty close to the prompt so I'll use content ref option. If I set strength to 0.9, it will be too much. I'll leave more freedom for generator and set strength to 0.5. 
Yes, faces have small imperfections, but there is no yellow eyes. You can change language and here is usage dashboard. You have 30 minutes of fast generations daily. After using all the fast hours, the generations will take more time. 